Hello, my fellow IT and virtualization experts. Welcome to another Starwind video. And today I'm going to show you how to use Starwind V2V Converter to convert virtual machine to Oracle Virtual Box system or to Oracle Virtual Box format. So let's get started. And we're starting with the first step prior to starting the conversion and that step is making sure that source virtual machine is powered off currently starwind v2v converter doesn't support so-called hot conversion of the uh, virtual machine to oracle virtual box system so before starting the process make sure that the vm is powered off Otherwise, conversion will fail and you won't get the proper result. I already did that during the preparations for this video, so I'm skipping that uh, step and starting with the second one, which is running the Starwind V2B converter software. And first step after that is selecting the source platform or the source system. In my case, it's the VMware cluster, so I'm selecting VMware platform as my source platform. Going next, and now I have two choices, and you as well have two choices uh, if you're using um, VMware as the source platform. So if you have a cluster, you can point V2V converter software to vCenter server appliance, or you can point it to the server that contains your virtual machine. So I'll be pointing it to the vCenter server appliance. So let me just put information about that here user let me check if I put it correctly yep so now password so now I'm selecting the server that has my virtual machine I'm selecting my virtual machine. As you can see, that virtual machine is powered off. So V2V converter indicates that. And again, remember that virtual machine that you're planning to convert should be powered off prior starting the conversion. Otherwise, conversion will fail. So we select our VM, going next. Now we're selecting the destination platform, which is the virtual box server. Now we're putting the credentials of our Oracle Virtual Box system. So let me just put it quickly the user and the password. Let's double check. Okay, everything is good. So let's move to the next step. If you run to this error message, which indicates that we put incorrect credentials to Virtual Box host to solve this situation, you need to perform additional steps and you need to start the Oracle VirtualBox web service component. To do that, you need to go to your Oracle VirtualBox server, navigate to the folder where the Oracle VirtualBox software sits, and from there start the component. So I'm currently running everything and show you the entire conversion process from my Oracle VirtualBox server. So on the Windows system like I have, the procedure looks the following. So uh, the easiest way to perform everything is to go to open the command prompt, navigate to the folder where the VirtualBox software is located. So on the Windows system, the default path is the following. So we, we're using the CD command and the path is the following. So it's a C drive. program files oracle and virtual box you can pause the video right now to remember the command and the entire path to the folder so we're going next so we're navigated us to the folder where the software is located so now we need to start the web service component on Windows. In order to do that, we need to type the name of the executable. 
and the name of it is vbox web srv dot exam as well we're adding additional parameter to this command to point web service component to management a, a network adapter of the server and the IP of it so it will be listening to that adapter and that IP address so the V2V converter can easily establish the connection with the VirtualBox server so the parameter is the following so it's dash dash host and the IP address of the host of the VirtualBox host so, three. so as you can see we started the web service component it's already listening to the adapter and to the IP address through the port that is used by this component so we can go back to the V2V converter software now as you can see we established the connection with the VirtualBox server so now we're Put in the assigning the resources and fill in all of the settings for the new virtual machine that we're going to put on the virtual box server. So we're assigning memory, we're assigning virtual course to our VM, we're assigning name, we're selecting the source virtual disk of the source VM that we're going to convert. As well, very important to two important steps. First, it's properly select the operating system type for the VM, for the new VM. It should be identical to the operating system type of the source VM, otherwise conversion will fail or it will be completed. But the virtual machine, the new virtual machine won't start. So in my case it's the Linux virtual machine, as well properly select the boot type of the new virtual machine, in my case it's BIOS. So now when we filled all of the fields, we put all of the settings, we, we did everything on this step. So now what's left is just to click convert to start the conversion. Once it, it's finished, we just go into our uh, virtual box server. We start in our new VM, making sure that it starts, it runs everything is uh, working correctly. We have all of the data consistent and, and working. So if it is, then you complete its conversion process successfully. And now you have your new virtual machine on VirtualBox server that you can work with further, or you can start the new conversion to bring more VMs to your VirtualBox server. So thank you for being with me at this video. I hope you learned a bit more about the virtualization today and how you can work with it, as well you learned about the new tool that you can put in your arsenal and use in day-to-day -day work, uh, which make your uh, so-called virtualization life easier. Once again, thank you for being with me. Stay tuned and I see you next one.